Scientists have long wondered whether liquid water could exist on Mars. And today, a new study published in the journal Science is causing quite a buzz. We discovered water on Mars. Scientists today reported a remarkable discovery on Mars. A huge lake of salty water has been detected deep beneath the surface of the red planet. And where there is water, there could be life. A stunning discovery is what they're calling it, one that could help scientists know for sure whether life ever formed on Mars or even exists today. First ice and now water. Humans may be one step closer to finding life on Mars. Proof that life could really exist on Mars. This is a huge result. So the red planet is a desert. <clears throat> our, one of our closest neighbors is completely devoid of water. We thought until uh, this incredible discovery by the orbiting satellite Mars Express. Well, for the first time, researchers say they have found conclusive evidence of water on Mars. NASA have now announced that there is in fact water on Mars. But it is not just a small body of water that they are telling us about here. It just makes you wonder what the hell is going on on Mars. If there is water, there is a chance that there is life. Could a civilization exist on the red planet? You have to wonder. Mars is barren, as we know, on the surface anyway. But what if there is a huge underground system where a civilization is hiding within an arc, awaiting the day the planet becomes non-toxic enough that they can begin to rebuild. It was only a hundred years ago, after all, that Nikola Tesla announced that he had intercepted radio signals from Mars. Perhaps this was a distress signal sent when something cataclysmic stripped Mars of its life-giving properties. When you consider all the evidence in the form of statues that we have seen with our own eyes from the surface, then you must at least consider that at some point in history, planet Mars was home to an advanced civilization, and could some of that civilization have survived underground to this day? You never know, guys. Anyway, water on Mars. Wait till you hear this. Just a mile or so beneath the surface near the South Pole of Mars, there is a reservoir of briny water sloshing and churning below layers of ice and rock. This subglacial lake discovered by a ground penetrating radar on the Mars Express spacecraft is about 12.4 miles wide and perhaps no more than a meter deep. Its discovery is the latest piece of evidence that suggests water was not only present on Mars in the past, but is still flowing in some capacity today. The findings, if confirmed by future observations, would be the most significant discovery of liquid water on Mars to date. Scientists already had little doubt that there was, at one point, liquid water on Mars, thanks to tiny spherical deposits discovered by the Opportunity rover in 2004 and the comprehensive mineralogy studies conducted by the Curiosity rover. The evidence suggests that vast lakes and rivers dominated the surface of Mars billions of years ago. What's more, tantalizing clues have continued to imply the existence of liquid water on Mars today. Condensation was measured on the Phoenix Lander in 2009 and dark streaks spotted on Martian dunes may be evidence of briny water, although more recent examinations suggest they could be avalanches of dry sand. The new discovery of a subterranean water deposit outlined in a new paper in Science suggests water is indeed underneath the red sands of Mars. Perhaps the red planet even has entire subsurface lake systems like those beneath Antarctica. Today, the most obvious signs that Mars was once a wet world are the ancient waterways that sculpted the planet's surface many millions of years ago. In 2015, NASA announced that it had spotted water seeping down slopes and gullies on the planet. The temperatures that they think are present here are far below zero, so given the spoon-fed information we get, it is hard to imagine life here. But microbes could have adapted or something on this place. When we finally go to Mars, perhaps we will find massive ruins and remnants of a lost civilization, perhaps many. So that being said, it makes one wonder about the possibility of life or even the frozen evidence that life once thrived on the fourth world from the sun. What do you guys think of this recent announcement? Is it worth commenting on? If so, let us know below. As always, thank you for watching.